Michelle Wyndham. So Michelle, wave. <laughs> And I'm Mary Ellen Dannenberg. I am the brand new kindergarten teacher at Turquoise Trail. All right. Wow. All by myself, with all wow. kinds of support, just not an EA at the moment, but that's okay. I have lots of support. <laughs> all right. So, um, so families, I'm going to, oh, here comes somebody else. All right. So um, I'm going to share my screen so that um, we're going to um, do a slideshow presentation. And if you have any questions, um, you can feel free to, oh, I'm sorry, Roberta. <laughs> Roberta um, works in admin, she's also his, and um, she'll be answering any questions that you have. So if you wanna put those um, in the chat box, you can do that as we're doing the um, presentation. And then at the end, we'll open it up for questions as well. All right, so welcome to kindergarten, gathering of the pack. And if you need closed captioning, please look for this CC symbol. It will be in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If you'd like to read what we're saying, you can click on this. Um, please note that this meeting is being recorded and will be posted on the school website. We understand that you want to keep the video off or call in with no, your phone for anonymity. The recordings will be on the school website and can have subtitles. Roberta Cole from our admin team is here with us to answer any questions in the chat. Please be sure you can get into Tyler SIS. This is where we do attendance, we do grade book. Um, if you do not have access to Tyler SIS, please contact Amber Romero um, in admin. If you, oh, it says at the bottom. If you cannot get in or cannot see who your student's teacher is, um, here's Amber's number, 505-986-4000. Have you seen our website? It's all shiny and new. You can get there by going to www.ttschool.org. Have you read and signed the behavioral expectations? They've been altered with things being a bit different this year. Bear in mind, whether you're online or at home, school is still school and we are expecting students to behave accordingly. Our brand new head administrator is Chris Eide. And if you have any questions or concerns, his email is right there. But again, going to our school website gets you access to everybody's email plus a message from him. So check out the website. Next, this is our elementary school principal. Her name is Christy Berg. And she is just specifically over the elementary school. If you have any questions or concerns, there is her email. And she's got a sweet greeting too on our website. We have Roberta on with us and she is our community outreach coordinator. So you may be talking to her a lot. She can help you with just about anything. If you have questions or concerns, her information is right there. And again, her information is also on our website. Okay. And this is our aftercare coordinator and sports teams director, Tammy Padilla. Um, she is right now providing child care during this time for essential workers. So if you're an essential worker in need of child care, she is the lady to talk to. Um, you can um, email her and also probably get some more information and check out her greeting on our website. And Harry Phillips is our middle school principal. So if you have older brothers or sisters maybe, or friends that you know that are in middle school, Harry's their principal. And again, his information's on the website if you have any questions or concerns. Sarah, can you see? 
I guess not. So this is um, Tony Tillman. Um, she is our special education director. And this is the email address that you can reach her at. Or you can go to the school's website and get more information there too. <clears throat> And again, this is our kindergarten team. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah. Oh, it's all right. It's our kindergarten team. We are a team awesome. We love what we do. We love our students and our parents at Turquoise Trail. So Mary Ellen, go ahead. You're the first one. Um, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> Just about me. I'm the new one. <laughs> I'm the new one, but I've been teaching for a while. Um, 14 years in Santa Fe. So I'm really excited to be at Turquoise Trail. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm kind of still the new one. <laughs> Last year was my first year, so this is my second year. And I am excited to be back at Turquoise Trail. I'm Sarah Maynard. It's my second and a half year at Turquoise Trail. I have 19 years of experience teaching, and kindergarten is my absolute favorite, favorite year favorite class. So we're all happy to be starting again. Yeah, I am. Um, <clears throat> I've been, uh, this is Samantha, I've been teaching for 13 and a half years. And I think this is my my fifth, fifth year at Turquoise Trail. Um, and I've taught mainly um, kindergarten, but also um, first grade, and some combination classes K first and first second. So this is the building, the new building and classroom. This is where every day we are going to ask you to go to your Google Classroom. And on Google Classroom, you'll have information about the class. You'll have links to educational activities. And you'll also have um, the other thing that I was just going to say and forgot. Uh, you'll also have, uh, so you'll have um, activities, lesson plans, links, everything that you need is going to be on this Google Classroom site. We will also be streaming live video. So there'll be independent work where your child will go in on their own, do activities that we have in there. But there will also be live classes that you will find on Google Classroom. And of course, we'll let you know when those are. So. Okay, our kindergarten schedule, um, this is um, just a basic kind of layout of the day. It will vary a little bit depending on each teacher, but the day will start at eight o'clock um, online with everybody for attendance, um, just to check in with everybody and to go over what the lessons are for the day. Um, and then this is kind of a basic idea of how um, the day may look in terms of lessons throughout the day. Um, but all of that information um, will be posted um, in Google Classrooms. So all our weekly schedules um, will be in there. And if we haven't already, we will be contacting you to schedule times to meet with your child online. And at the bottom there in yellow, it says, yes, we will be taking attendance and parents will be notified if a student is absent without an excuse. <clears throat> okay, uh, what supplies you will need? So right now, all you need is a, that all that um, Mr. ID asked you to get as families is a good set of headphones with a microphone. And you're also going to need a computing device, unless you already have one. And you should have filled out a form to receive one from the school. If you did not, please contact Amber at 986-4000. And uh, she will be um, helping you to get a device if you need one. And one other thing is when you're getting online, we ask that you use Google Chrome as your browser. And um, you're going to need a space designated for learning. And it does not need to be much, but it helps if it's specifically for school. What that means 
a corner with a small desk or table that can that can um, at least hold your computing device with a plug nearby to be able to charge. Why? Having a space specifically for learning will help your student transition into school mode, even though they are still at home. And other items. This is the most exciting part of the presentation. The school has created packets for every student full of supplies that can be purchased for a smaller amount than you would normally cost. So we do have confirmation that with the donations, both monetary and supply wise, right now the cost per student is about $5 for everything that they're gonna need for school. So that's thanks to Roberta, our community outreach person. She has been working tirelessly to get supplies, put them together and have them ready for our kiddos. So it's awesome. Yay. I can do that. How is school going to be the same? Your teachers are still here and are the same as above, as before. And you, the students and parents are here and you're still the same. We will still learn the same things that students in kindergarten learn. Um, we are, our expectations are just as high, even though we're online. We have high expectations for us and for the kiddos and, and this is school. <laughs> so we're, we're all working hard to make it as accessible as possible but we are we are going to learn some great stuff this year um we have high behavior expectations we're taking attendance so um that first morning meeting that first check-in of the day is really important because that's when attendance gets taken and if a, a parent calls with the reason why a student cannot attend we will be recording those live sessions so you'll be able to catch up if for some reason or if your student's ill or if they can't make it onto that live session. Um, we're available by, available by email and phone. And there'll be a lot more communication now because we don't see each other face to face. We're going to talk a lot more, whether it's on the phone or text or Zoom or email or whatever your, your preferred method of communication. We're going to make sure we're reaching out a lot more so that, so that you feel like we're a team. For your child. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, that's kind of the end of our presentation. Thank you all so much for coming. Um, with an, one other note, the PTO um, would like help. You can email them at PTO, uh, I mean PTO at ttschool.org. And um, if you have any questions for admin, please put them in the chat box. And if you have any questions for us, please put them in the chat box. Um, and uh, here are our email addresses. This is for me, Samantha, for um, Melissa, Sarah, and Mary Ellen. And these are the numbers that you can reach us at if you have any questions. Okay, so I'm gonna exit out and we'll um, answer your questions. Okay, let's see, where is my chat? There it is. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, just one more thing. Um, our, our librarian, is, I just saw Miss, Mrs. Hart again. <laughs> so for this new group of uh, parents, uh, my librarian, Mrs. Hart, is with us too. <laughs> um, Michelle, you found out your child's teacher bought on Tyler. So if you don't have that, call Amber at the front office to get your login for Tyler. Yes, if you got oh. an email from Mary Ellen, she's your teacher. That's me. Yes, Jasmine, I'm you. You're me. Where'd you, go? <laughs> <laughs> you got the email because some people got it in their junk email. So check your trash or your junk emails just in case. I sent some stuff out and we'll all be sending out emails. So, yes, to set up times to meet more individually so you can ask more questions. We can show you Google Classroom. We can show you what stuff looks like. Mm -hmm. It'll be, a, it's a much better, it'll be a much better venue for, for going over things. Mm -hmm. Wow, so many questions. 
The Google Classroom codes. Yeah. Let's see. You know what? We can I show? Yeah. Can I show you? Because I just um I have a second grader at the school, and I just finally opened it up. Um, <laughs> so so I have I can't see what where my picture is, but can you see the app there? Mm -hmm. So the Tyler app. Um, let me put it on my. I have two kids in the school. That's the seventh grader. Okay, so here's my son Trent, and he down here. When I come down to the student schedule, it has all these crazy numbers and letters before a teacher's name, and so those are the codes to the Google Classroom. So he's his second grade homeroom. Yours will say kindergarten homeroom, and it'll have a code. Okay, and that's the code you put in to get into the Google Classroom. Just so you know, right now, if you click on there, it says that uh, no student scheduled data exists for the student. Okay, so so make sure you check in with Amber and say that you're having trouble seeing your student's schedule on Tyler. Yeah. They said sometimes they have to reset your password from mm -hmm. last year to this year, or if you tried to lock in too many times, it'll lock you out. So give that, give Amber a call. It was a miracle I got mine to work tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I had to log into mine too and I couldn't. I was like, I'm just gonna go to the staff section. <laughs> <laughs> There's a question online. I don't think we've answered it. Is the session are the sessions live, live. or do we have to get on programs to finish work? Combination, so, right? We do have a little bit of both. There's there will be live streaming where we're talking face to face on screen with your student, and other times they will be doing independent work with programs that you find in classroom uh, Google Classroom. So it's a combination of both. So this is I, just kind of a silly question. I have a, a daughter who's in pre-K as well. And so do they each need their own computer throughout the day? Or are they going to need, like, can they share a computer? Like, is that feasible? Because um, right now, it feels like it's not. So yeah. I just want to know, like, what are we looking at here? Yeah. Um, I'm not too familiar with what pre-K schedule looks like um, or what their start time is. That's a really good question. Um, I, would, I would imagine you you would be able to do both because there was a big of a staggered start last year with their schedule versus our schedule. Um, I don't know. Um, have you have any of the other teachers? Have we heard anything? I, I have the schedule. It's a bit off and on. So... Okay, we'll we'll just figure it out. I just was, I get we'll figure it out. I know. Okay. I'm sorry. And we can figure it out if they both need to be on at the same time. We'll make sure that the attendance gets counted somehow that they're both there. Uh, we'll work it out. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rodriguez asked if they're gonna have a schedule for live stream. Yes, we, um, you know, once we have um, everyone's contact information, if you have our email address and you just want to email us, um, we can start scheduling um, with your child for um, days, times that would work for you to do the, um, the live meetings. Okay, and then there was a question regarding aftercare. Um, your best bet would probably be um, reach out to Tammy Padilla You'll have to fill out a registration and see if there's room. Sorry, I have a kid in here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I have a question. Hi, everybody. I am Diana. Uh, this is the first time we joined the, the school for Turkish Trail. My son and my daughter, she's going to third grade in Romanes in kindergarten. I mean, I don't have any computer. I don't have the Google Classroom account for them. I have the ones for the public schools, but this is going to be completely new, I assume. Mm -hmm. And um, I just, I don't know, like, I don't know. I, I check my email and I don't see any T-shirt for Roman. And I don't know who I can talk to. 
I would say Amber. Would yeah. Amber? Okay. Amber. Just that she's front door. Amber Romero. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I talk to her all the time. Poor thing. Well, good. Knows you. <laughs> Thank you. So, question for you. I've heard this the same uh, comment that Diana just made. Uh, not only, and by the way, my I have one in eighth grade, one in third grade, and then another one in kindergarten too. Uh, but in all three classes, I've heard the same comments from parents that we have not received uh, the access credentials from Google Classroom or the Google Classroom code for our kids. Is that, I mean, instead of, bombarding Amber with emails from hundreds and hundreds of parents, is there a plan for that information to go out to each parent? Um, I can try and answer that. I actually believe that each teacher is trying to uh, reach out by email through their parents and they can answer questions that way. Yeah, because Amber's going to get a lot of calls. Also, um, if you email me, I can do my best to direct you in the right place or see if I can find it out too. Do, do you want to put Roberta your email address in the chat? Oh, I, I did, Roberta, and you deferred to, Dan, to Danielle and Danielle said, we'll email it to you in a couple of hours and that Nothing? was at 10.45 okay. a.m. Okay, so I think they were still trying to get it together. Um, let me... Let me, I don't know, I'll, I'll get back to you. And my email would be good to have. Roberta, <laughs> can we ask you this? Are the rosters that we have as teachers on Tyler, are those official? I am certain they are. Okay, so then we could probably start emailing out, I think. Um, I did try and do a mass email, but we can start emailing our, um, our families, correct? Mm -hmm. Our information. Oops, I jumped again. <laughs> I did that already. <laughs> You're on top of it, Mary Ellen. You're on top no, of it. No, just, just anxious. <laughs> that it might be okay. It's worth mentioning also, we just got a roster in our, we, so the teachers didn't know who their students were either until mm -hmm. probably later to, or this afternoon, and it wasn't a definite. So we didn't know, and still not sure about the students in our class either. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see how I understand the curriculum consists of a combination of things. And Nicole, every kindergarten teacher is going to be a little bit different, a clear mm -hmm. idea of how many hours are going to be required online. We're going to check in in the morning, and I think we plan to have another time during the day when we're live. I think we plan on having small group time online or one-on-one -on -one online if, you know, if that's something that works out. But... Um, Again, it's going to be really individual depending on the teacher and depending on what you can do too. So we're going to work with you if online doesn't always work. The, the morning one is really crucial. Other things, you know, we also have choice boards that have different activities on them during the day so that your child still is learning. And, and but especially in the beginning, we'll need you there to help them navigate just a little bit until they get used to it. But again, we are gonna, that's why we wanna meet with everybody one-on-one -on -one so we can find out what your needs are mm -hmm. and make sure that we're, you know, that we're, have the best marriage of what we both need and what your child needs. So- I wanna build, Yes, to accommodate as many families as we can. Right. We'll be meeting with, with each with each family, each student individually in these first few days. And that's what we're going to find out. What are you dealing with? How many students, do, how many children do you have at home who are all sharing bandwidth uh, technology? So, you know, we're, we'll do everything we can to help you to work with you. We want it to work for everyone. And it's a learning process. You know, we start, we start on Tuesday or, or uh, I don't know if we're still having meetings on Tuesday, but we're going to we're going to roll with the punches and the glitches and and figure out what's best. So, what is expected of us on Monday? 
So we should have contacted you by then. We should have everyone's email address and have contacted or called parents. Um, and typically the first two or for one or two days of kindergarten is called kindergarten kickoff, where we just kind of meet with families and students, um, you know, maybe do like a, a short assessment if it seems appropriate. But um, so, so as soon as we have that contact information, we'll be able to just schedule something to meet with um, all the families individually, probably the first couple of days. Thank you, Anne. Thanks. Anybody have any other questions? All right. Well, um, thank you all for coming. Um, you. If you if you joined late and you missed any or most of this, um, both sessions have been recorded and they will be posted on the school website, so you can um, always go there to see um, to see them. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice Thank evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.